Hello, guys. Mrs. Buttersquid here. No, JK. <laughs> Hello, guys. Mr. Buttersquid here. And today, I am going to be showing you how to build Lego Steve. But I took it apart. I'm like, the last robotic spider thing. Alright. I guess we can get started. First, you need two of these blue one by 2 pieces. Here. Yeah. This. You need two of these. And you need one of these flat one by two black ones. I you'll see what I mean by flat in a second. Um you will need two of these yellow ones. Pretty much the same thing. I'm just gonna go through all of those first. And you'll need two of these, what I said about the black, like, smooth ones. These ones, if you can see, have, like, little, where'd they go? Whoa. There they are. They have, like, little ridges in them, if you can see. Mine. Very tiny. I don't think you can see it. Oh, yeah, there, see, it has little bumpies in it. And that one has a little bumpies on the side. See it? Bumpies. Or it's okay if you can do it um, with regular black pieces. I just found these because, like I said in my Lego, like showing off my Lego Minecraft stuff, um, black pieces are very hard to find. That's why I only used, like, oh, never mind. Black pieces aren't that hard to find because, like, my Enderman, it's all black. Pretty much, except for the red. I don't, I don't know what the red's from, but let's get moving. You'll need one of these flat bricks, one by fours. You will need two of these flat one by threes. These are hard to find, not because they're black, because they're one by threes. You'll need one of these little hinge blocks. I just like to put them on for extra, like, sword holding, I guess. Oh, um, alright, give me a second. Yeah, we'll need one of these. Uh, I don't know what to call it, like, a two by, a one by two with a one stud in the middle, I guess. And then we'll need a regular Lego brick. The two by two. And then you'll need a flat, solid, um, Little two by two, with has no studs on the top because it's smooth. All right, let's start. You take your two by two, put it on top of your two by two, so your two by two is flat. I don't know. And then you stick the center piece of your two by two on the bottom of the head for like the uh, give me a second for like the rotating neck. I fell off. Never mind. I'll show you when we get the final copy done. But the neck. And then you would put the two black pieces you have. The two ones with bumpies. The bumpy ones. Make sure the sides that are going horizontal are facing you. Or doesn't really matter. Because. So it looks like this. And then, what you do now is you take your, this little piece, your hinge piece, stick it on the back, like so. So it has the little thing coming out the back. And then you take the last pieces. Wait, what am I talking about? Last pieces? I don't know. You take your... Um, one by threes, and you place one stud under there next to the hinge, and leave two spaces open. That's where you're going to put your hands, or arms, or something, I guess. I'm sorry if he looks like a zombie, but that's what I'm going to be showing next, in the next episode, so you can look forward to that. Then you take this piece, 
your 1x4 and you stick it on underneath the well there <laughs> and then you take your last three pieces put the two blues together and the black on top so it looks like this and voila you got your Steve if you want to see how to make the diamond sword or lapis it looks more like a lapis sword, even though that's not possible. You take two blue cylinders, put them right on top of each other. So it looks like this. And then you can take a blue cone shape thing. So it looks like this. Uh, let me hold it upside down so it looks like that. And then you take... I couldn't find a brown color for like the handle, so I just used tan. But another one by three. And you put that right where this is. And you take a brown cylinder. Your brown cylinder. And you stick it right on under the diamond sword, but next to the... So it looks like that. And then to have it on Steve's hand, you will put two on his hand. Like two on his hand, so it'll look how he's holding it. And you will put the stud underneath his hand. So it looks like this. And there you go, guys. Have a nice time building your Minecraft army. Alright, squid on.